question is, what's the dry time of the periaqua? The periaqua is water cured. It dries almost instantly. In fact, this little tag right here, do you see that? So what we've got here now is cyanoracolate. Uh, this is made by glue stitch and it comes in a it's a medical grade super glue so do not buy this from home depot to try to save a buck because that's not the same chemicals okay what we've done is we've drawn a little bit up and into a pipette and we're going to do is we're going to spot weld this note that here on the buckle i haven't done a full a full uh, thickness flap all i did was really elevate the papilla so i just want to kind of help to encourage them to stay in the place so i'm just going to touch right at the at the distal of the canine here and that's it and I'm going to go to the mesial of the premolar, and I'm going to touch right there, and that's it. Okay, now I'm going to go to the lingual. Pull that out there. Okay, I'm going to go to the lingual, and I'm just going to touch a little bit right there. And I'm going to go to the mesial lingual and get my angulation here. And I'm going to touch just like that. Okay, and that's all I'm going to do. Now, we just use super glue, and normally we don't have the, the distinct advantage of having the patient uh, under general anesthesia. So normally we would have a patient that would be moving around. So what we do is we follow it up with Vaseline. And what we're going to do is we're going to lube the cheek, the buccal, buccal vestibule, the palate, anywhere where we think they might get stuck. Before we do that, let me show you on the mirror what the glue looks like before we, we close up. Now, there you go. Okay, so notice I only tacked around the edges and I did not float it over the entire graft. That graft will form a clot in the next, in, from 10 minutes from the placement to the end, the, the initial blood clot will form. And after that, the fibrin will kick in and really secure that graft. That graft will not fall out. I do not need to put a collagen membrane over it and I do not need to put a suture over it. I haven't elevated any tissue. That tissue is not going to go anywhere as long as the patient doesn't chew on that site. So now the Vaseline comes in, and we start by just kind of rubbing it in with the uh, cotton swab that helps us get into locations that we need to get into. And then what I like to do is use the finger. So we come in on the buckle and just make sure that we don't have any issues with this tongue getting stuck or the lip getting stuck to the extraction site. So can I get that? That uh, yeah. It's the dry time it's what is the dry time the question is what is the dry can i get the uh, the gauze back the uh, cotton swab and just wipe off the excess so the question is what's the dry time of the periaqua the periaqua is water cured it dries almost instantly in fact this little tag right here do you see that that's a piece of the glue that's already dried right there so that just fell off so i'm just move that out of the way so it dries really really quickly now if you pull it if you pull it which i don't encourage you to do but if you were, the pool will not, the pool will uh, take a little longer to cure until it, until it touches some water. Now what's neat about this is look at the hemorrhaging that we have here. It's, it's almost next to none. And I like to, I like the analogy of the fighter in the, in the ring when they get caught and they use the Vaseline to help reduce the bleeding. So we have very little bleeding. When we do a case like this and the patient leaves, even on an extraction site, they're leaving and they're not hemorrhaging. And this is a really good practice builder.